Hey breakholders, how are you doing? So today I'm super pumped to present you a new feature, which is the distinction between people and companies. So a lot of you guys were waiting for that feature like for ages, but now it's there. So I'm super excited to show you how it works. So um, the first thing you're gonna notice is that um, you now have two new sections uh, inside Brackle. So you have people where you have like your current leads, which are all uh, individuals. And now you have companies where guess what? Um, you have companies. <laughs> uh, but the good thing is that you can attach individuals to a company or to multiple companies actually. Um, so I'm gonna show you how it looks like in just a few seconds, but um, bear in mind that when I will click on MailChimp, you're not gonna see the actual employees of MailChimp. It's just like a bunch of demo leads like myself that are inside MailChimp. And so um, it's like uh, not the actual uh, employees of MailChimp. So let's click on MailChimp together. So clicking on MailChimp right now. And the first thing you can see here is that when you are inside a company, you're gonna have like a feed of all the people inside that company. So you can see like in my MailChimp companion lead, I have like five people. And so uh, because of that, like all the posts, social media posts, LinkedIn tweets are aggregated inside that company. And so if I just want to focus on like Sophia inside this company, I can just see uh, like the post of Sophia. If I just want to click to focus on Al, etc., cetera, et cetera. And then if I just want to really like focus on Al, I can click on Al's profile and then I am in Al's profile. And then if I want to go back to my companion lead, I click on MailChimp here and I'm back to my MailChimp companion lead. So that is the first thing. You have a aggregated uh, feed of all the people, uh, all the individuals attached to a company. The second thing is that this feed will adapt depending on the people you choose. So if you're a big fan of LinkedIn account based marketing, there's tons of use cases. I'm going to do a big masterclass later that week about that. So stay tuned uh, on YouTube specifically. And uh, also, yeah, as usual, you can then select a, team, a member of that company and then you can reach out with a LinkedIn DM, a Twitter DM or an email. Um, um, and then uh, like the third thing you have is that you have an activity timeline like you have on individuals, but this one is consolidated for all the people you have within that company. So let's say I have like right now five people in my MailChimp uh, company lead. Then I'm gonna have like the notes of all my five people in this company. So it's super helpful because then you can like uh, essentially like aggregate all the data in one place and from there see your notes and see like the social interactions like um, what you've liked and what you've commented and who did it in the team for each individual but from one place. So again for account-based marketing uh, if you work as a team for bigger deals it's a huge game changer inside the software. Um, so once we have explained that, uh, I think it's time now to show you how you can actually create a lead, uh, a company lead. So um, you need to click here, actually, add company. And so let's try to create Figma as a company. So I'm going to copy paste like the Figma um, domain name and I'm going to click on create company. And now Figma, as you can see, has been created as a company. But Figma still doesn't have uh, doesn't have doesn't have like any uh, leads attached um, to it. So we're gonna go to people. And I'm gonna show you how you can attach um, like individuals to a company. So I'm gonna go to people, and um, I'm gonna like specifically take someone that I know that has like um, some LinkedIn posts in this demo account, which is Maxime. So I'm going to click on Maxime. Uh, some of you guys maybe know him uh, from LinkedIn. Um, and so uh, I'm going to replace his company, which is Contrast. Uh, check this out, by the way, really cool software. And I'm going to click on Figma. So you see, it's all the company that I have. I can also like do it by search. And so I'm going to click on Figma. Now, uh, Maxime is attached to the company Figma. And so if I click on open leads, you see now, um, I have like the feed of uh, Maxime inside Figma. 
because you know like uh, if there's only one people there and then i can go back to the profile of maxine if i want by clicking here so this is pretty much how you add like uh leads to your company um for now and they're going to be like multiple ways in the future um the fourth thing that we need to talk about i think right now is how you can add a company uh in the sales pipeline because i remember when we were building this feature uh, there was a tons of people who were saying yeah you know like um we have like um, with my sales team like we don't really uh like think in terms of people but we think in terms of companies because we close deals with like actual companies so i don't really care about like having people in my pipeline so now you can add companies in the pipeline so i'm just going to click on figma here and click on interested and then what we're going to do is that i'm going to go to the pipeline and uh, we're going to notice that now figma is inside my pipeline i'm just going to clear this out yeah so now you see figma is in the pipeline along with mailchimp and nike and um in this demo account and uh as you can also like noticed i also have like people inside the pipeline so essentially depending on what you like and how you operate as a business you can have a pipeline where you only have individuals or a pipeline where you co you only have like companies or both it's basically up to you and how you operate because sometimes um you might do deals with solopreneurs or maybe like small agency with there's really just one person and sometimes for bigger companies you have like tons of people so you want to group them into your company so basically you do uh your thing and that's pretty much about it and so from there if i click on mailchimp here you see click on mailchimp from the pipeline and um directly what's going to happen is that yeah again go back to the all consolidated feed uh can see the people etc so this is basically how this new feature works um as you can imagine there's tons of new use cases and uh, I will explain all of that to you in an upcoming masterclass video, uh, like a really strong video with tons of use cases related to also how to operate that in the context of um, your sales pipeline, how to move the needle faster, uh, and essentially, yeah, how to close deals faster because generating leads, it's really not that difficult when you can be so sharp um, using Brackle. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it for this feature. I think I said it all. If you have any questions uh, about this new feature um, or feedback, because it's a new one, let us know in the live chat. Uh, it's the first version of this feature. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna like improve a lot uh, from that. And so yeah, if you see anything, just let us know. We're gonna do our best to keep pushing to make this software even better. And we have tons of uh, even better things that are coming in the in the next couple of weeks. Um, so stay tuned. Cheers. Bye.